Osibanjo breaks silence on his whereabouts. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo on Saturday gave an insight into his whereabouts in the past few weeks. Osibanjo, who spoke through his spokesperson, Akonde Laolu, disclosed that he has been attending to official matters on how to improve Nigerians' economy. Laolu, in an Instagram post shared with Daily Post, after he was contacted by or contacted on Osibanjo's whereabouts, urged Nigerians to ignore fake claims regarding President Muhammad Buhari and the Vice President's whereabouts. He recalled that the Vice President on Thursday met with, governor, with the Governor of Central Bank, CBN, Kaduna State Governor, and some ministers via video conferencing. According to Laolu, with my boss, the Vice President, last night in his office, reviewing some of the events of the week. By the way, continue to ignore professional fake news conduits who share fictions about the whereabouts of the president and his vice. The critical mass of our people see both the president and the vice president regularly on TV. What's TV, I beg to say? which of the TV, hear about them regularly on radio, really? Read from them in the press and observe their activities regularly on the social media. Wow. What a lie from the presidency, again. For instance, on Thursday, the vice president held a video conferencing meeting that included governor of Kaduna State, power and finance ministers, the Central Bank of Nigeria governor and other government officials on how to expand electricity in the country. The work goes on and Nigeria will surely prevail. We will do it together. Osibanjo's absence from public view in the last weeks had sparked some form of conspiracy that he may have contracted the COVID-19 or he is in trouble. However, Buhari's special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, had explained that Osibanjo has been busy working with the Economic Sustainability Committee. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story uh, what do you see uh how do you see this defense from the vp's office what are your thoughts in this particular regard do you agree with them are they actually telling the truth well be that as it were according to the statement that says that nigerians are saying them on tv and radio i beg to differ on which tv and which radio have they been seen the last time the vice president was seen was over a month ago. The last time the uh, president was actually seen on TV was his last broadcast. So on which TV and radio are they being seen? I beg to um, differ on this particular um, course. And also, if they are being seen and their activities are being you know, followed on social media and what have you, then why are people asking for their president and their vice president. Why are people asking about their whereabouts? It's just normal logic. So uh, I don't know why this administration of the APC under the leadership of or under the presidency of Buhari is so full of, uh, you know, unconvincing stories. If you would ask me, they are not convincing at all. Even when you even try to want to put things in perspective and probably understand stuff from there, they still do not uh, try to help you. You know, why are these aids full of lies? Look at the lies that uh, Mr. Femi Adishino, you know, told. 
it's just um well it's what it is probably i think he's just doing his job though so but even at that nigerians deserve the truth nigerians deserve the transparency from this government if you ask me but it's what it is let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story lahot cheesy says only in nigeria that you can see this sort of rubbish Sorry for the hopeless and helpless youths of this country who rather than come together to pull down the old crooks taking Nigeria backwards but are busy on social media fighting themselves along ethnic and religious lines. Kalechi Solomon Vincent says, So the VC doesn't have mouth to speak for himself again? Nigeria, I hail. You see what we're talking about? Can't they come out and address Nigerians? Mwachuku Okereke says, Akande Laulu, you guys think you are smart. By thinking you can deceive everybody, you are a big liar. We are watching you and your games. Onama Ezemwa says, Boz Mustafa is the vice president, the de facto vice president. Well, it's what it is. Who, who would want to deny that? Obi Anderson says, story for the gods. Attending important issues on how to grow the economy when you have COVID-19 to solve first. Now, now you wake up from sleep to grow the economy that you, Buhari, and APC have destroyed. That is what another person is saying. So, what, uh, why, how did we get into this point? How did we find ourselves, you know, at this uh, Agbaje says, all the enemies of progress of this country will be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We say amen to that. Another person says, this gives me more reason to believe the rumor that he has been killed. If Yoruba elders don't ask about his whereabouts and get concrete proof, then they are cowards and will continue to be slaves. He, of course, he doesn't. He is not killed. He's still alive, but the fact remains that his whereabouts is what people are not sure of, and that is why people want leaders that would come out to speak to them. Not when they want, uh, they want their votes. Then you are not coming out to beg for their votes. We are talking about leaders who would stand up to their responsibilities and show true leadership by example, leading from the front, not from behind. And Nigerians asking to see their leaders is not too much to ask for, if you ask me. So it's what it is. Solomon Nana says, why are you people dying to know their whereabouts? Don't you have your own relatives and problems? Joblessness has turned you people to busybodies. No, I disagree with this view. They are our leaders, they begged for votes and they got the votes and they made promises. So they ought to live by it and keep to those promises, if you ask me. Blessing Wago says, why through his media after such a long time and the confusion they are causing here and there? Now, wow, I open this news with every enthusiasm only to see through his media. Story for the gods. You can see what we're talking about. People want to hear from their leaders, not from their aides. Their aides were not the ones voted for. The leaders are the ones voted for, and they will have to come out and speak. Look at other countries. Look at other leaders in other countries, other presidents, vice presidents, and all of you. They come out to speak. They even interact with their people. That is what Nigerians are asking for. Rafael Oyedokun says, May God help and strengthen our leaders and grant them the needed wisdom knowledge and understanding to move our beloved country towards achievement and advancement so that we all enjoy the benefits of the Lord that God has given to us free of charge. All the enemies of progress of this country will be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If I Ichuku says, why speaking through someone? Why not come out of your hiding and address the public of your whereabouts to clear every doubt? I'm beginning to suspect something. So this is what we're talking about. When the people are beginning to, you know, suspect their leaders or suspect that something is wrong with their leaders, then there is a problem. Leaders ought to, you know, address the people.
clear their doubts and ensure that they repose confidence in their leaders and their citizens and their followers. And that is what is expected of our leaders. But it is not begotten. So I stand to be corrected. Something must be wrong with the leadership of this country. Something somehow is wrong. Well, be that as it were, kindly drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.